Jeremiah, thanks. Al, the struggles going into tonight's game were well documented, but in that first quarter, what weren't you guys able to get going? Um, you know, they just um, they got, ran their offense so good, and we just went, we was just a step slow behind for everything and turned the ball over. Um, I think we showed more fight in the first quarter, but for whatever reason, we just couldn't stay consistent. And they, um, every mistake we made, they, um, seemed like they got a three or something good out of it, so. Is it tough mentally going into a game against a team as good as they are without so many key pieces on your guys' end? I mean, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's if you just want to make excuses for everything, but at the end of the day, we, um, you can't look at it like that. Of course, we would have loved to have our full team um, going in, but, you know, sometimes the schedule work out like that when you got to come in on a back-to-back -back play against um, one of the top teams and have a lot of injuries. You just can't make excuses. You just got to go out there and uh, play our game. Coach McMillan said he was hopeful to get guys like Paul George, Miles Turner back uh, for Wednesday's game. If that's the case, is this one easy to wipe out of your memory? Um, you know, you know, um, no matter what, anytime you lose a game, you got to get over it real fast because you got to get ready for the next one. You know, but it's good to know that them guys coming back.